Danganronpa. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa. I'll never do that again, but last episode we were finally done with introductions, and I started liking Celeste and Aoi. And maybe a little bit of uh, Kyoto. Whatever her name was. Hmm. Even though they're all they're all ultimate, they seem they each to have their own individual sort of um something. Hmm. What kind of something you may ask? I don't know the answer to that myself. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of bold eyed baboons. But it's like a dull eyed baboons. Baboons. What a, what a, undeceptive, what a disturbing little beast you are. You may seem civilized, but you sure are a cocky douchebag. Well, that's true. I mean, someone who said something about a bigger problem or something? What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see. Uh, um. Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff about... Uh, a bunch of stuff happened, and then you f were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? Uh, what? Seriously? That's what I said! You mean seriously? Yeah, seriously, that's what I said. Don't repeat me, Leon. Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. <gasps> just like me! And when we came to, oh, and when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's that's what happened to you, right? But what? That's just weird. That every one of us would get locked out like that. Piece of shit. <laughs> exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. This. And it's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the class and hallways were, right? Yep. I remember back in episode one. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of heavy metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <clears throat> And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hats. What does this mean? Yeah, but there is no way there. <sighs> but there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What is it doing there? Hmm. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something. Is it? Like... A kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and called us off and we were not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on. Don't, don't try that. Don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet all this is just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. I gotta go take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Oh, if that's all, if that, well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. It was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye to feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. Six a.m. 6 a.m. That's the exact sound from Five Nights at Freddy's. Wow. Wow. I bet Danganronpa's creator was actually a fan of it. Considering that the game came out after Five Nights at Freddy's was released. 2014, August, was when FNAF was released. It was not long before this one was. Oh no. Ahem, ahem, check the 
testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful and completely unconcerned. So I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at a scene of an accident. That's exactly what I was thinking! Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. Greg Hare's voice acts the uh, Monokuma in the anime, not the game. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you excuse me. Hey, what do you think you... Are you just gonna take off like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> yeah, thank God it was all a joke. I'll be totally freaked out if this was real. You know? Alright, I guess I'll head up too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why did they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Now wait for me, I wanna go with you. <laughs> That'd be sad then. I was swallowed up to there. Anyway. Not like anyone cares, but I'm going to. Everyone took off for the gym and I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Um, this, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, maybe, but just saying doesn't put it, doesn't mean we'll be, we'll all be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? And this is where we save our progress. Overwrite it. Boop. Well, let's talk to Gutaka first. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this? Some kind of bad joke? <laughs> Shit. What the hell what kind of game are they playing? This is bad. What was with that announcement? It was like. It's totally creepy. Well, are you okay? Is everyone okay? Huh. True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. That's exactly what she said before. Listen. I know how we feel. Okay. All we can do now is check it out, right? Uh, um, something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. Let's leave the area. I'm sure we're supposed to go right over here. There is a GYM. Come on. Guy, I had no idea this Hope Peak Academy place was going to be a huge pain in my balls. It is really much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Um, oh, oh, you haven't seen the, the... You haven't seen the half of it, Mondo. Then why is there everybody here? Walking through the halls? 
I don't see a, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. This is seriously not good. <laughs> They're just trying to spook us. They they they'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. <laughs> All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Dude, shit. Oh, the, well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, who, who, where's whoever called us here? Bundle, stop! Who am running? Well, then. I shall go too. Ah, oh, wait, wait, don't leave me here all alone! <laughs> Okay, time for the time for some tutorial action. You can press the tab key and observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Now I like that. Don't go. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Maybe I'm just imagining that. Um, where are all these other students? Why are we the only ones here? Maybe we should just go through there. Self so was uneasy and dread. I did what the answer said and went to the gym. When I saw who was waiting and... I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entry ceremony. Yo. See, told ya. It's a totally noble entry ceremony stuff. I don't know. Uh, proper grammar, please. Hero was right. But, in a way, it wasn't that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there. Howdy. How? Is everyone here? Then let's get things rolling! Oh, another CG imagery thingy. Oh no. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma, and I am this school's headmaster. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was. What I was seeing was, it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all such a bright voice. Carefree attitude was completely out of place. And that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly gets transformed into outright fear. I wonder why. Is it the white or the black? Is it the yin or is it the yang? Oh, wah, wah! That teddy bear got stuck! <laughs> Calm down, the Judith has some speaker inside of it. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Maracute. I am not. I'm Maracuma. And I am your headmaster. Ah, it moved. Shit. Seriously, man. Calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything. You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control, remote control signal is so complex. Even the folks at NASA couldn't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, uh, don't make me see stuff without the amazing story NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well, bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? Another super bear punch? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down now. Oh, okay, so... 
is about to gag. Good morning. Everyone stand at attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? You, you don't have to say back. Now then. Let us commence with the most noteworthy and remarkable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students will so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such a splendid hope, you all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and add here to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Ah, now then, regarding the end date of this communal life, there is a one. In other words, you all be here for the day you die. Such is the school's life you've been assigned. Uh, I'm starting to lose my voice. That's why I sound like I'm dying. What did you just say? That's all the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget. So you won't lack all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're just saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be a hundred percent sure. Uh -huh. Ah, just for your information, you were completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all these metal plates all over the school. They're to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell or scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here in reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care the school or whatever is behind it all, but this is really just a bad joke. D damn you. Uh, cut the shit out, it's not funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie. You might as well just censor that out. I meant to say crap, but whatever. You keep saying, oh, this is a lie, or a joke, and a bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? Y'all grew up in an age where you can t where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see it with your own eyeballs that I could speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever will be quite the problem. What's this? Come now. What's the matter with all of you? You decided your own free, of your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entry ceremony is finished, y'all decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave this school. Really? Actually... As headmaster, I crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Yeah. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to ma maintain an, an environment of harmony here, we rely on the communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt the harmony, they, uh, they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my school students, is the graduation class. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? 
Well, you know, if one person were to murder another, 